welcome back you're watching big deal now from the venture capital uh, world we have with us uh, tarun davra from matrix partners tarun so good to have you on cnbc thank you TV for having 18. me thanks uh, now my first question how is the entire vc world positioned in india right now uh, compared to the kind of successes that vcs have seen globally uh well i think two ways to look at it uh one is a rear view mirror if i keep the rear view mirror it's uh, it doesn't look very good um vcs in india have always been questioned about uh exits or lack of uh, or thereof um so clearly the report card is not good uh if i take a much more forward looking view um you know looking out in the next 5 to 10 years world over we are seeing a lot of interest from uh investors from the us from china uh, a lot of vcs in india have started taking fairly aggressive bets um i think there is a recognition that the indian market is maturing yeah um we now have all the key i guess uh, levers in place to ensure that uh, there will be a, a good decade or two of value creation that will come hmm. um so if i look out maybe 5 to 10 years uh, it looks much more positive so what are the challenges right now which are getting solved and what more can be done for the entire startup world and the vc world to find some success in india See, I think there are four levers that are required for any venture ecosystem to play out, right? The first is internet users. Uh, over there, we all have a lot to thank to Jio. Mm. Uh, they have completely changed the game in the last two years. Mm. Uh, we've gone from 100, 150 million internet active users to now 350, 400 million active internet users uh, online on right. 4G. Mm. Uh, if I look at the quality and the depth of 4G coverage in India now today. we are ahead of many developing uh, developed nations um with more than 78% of india having 4g coverage right if i look at data access cost yes uh it has dramatically uh fallen by more than 93% in the last 18 months uh, again thanks to jio uh what all this has resulted in is that we have a large internet user base right. which is highly engaged and starting to consume more and more data india by the way i don't know if you know this india already we the average indian consumer is consuming more data mm. than the average uh, consumer in china right. by far more than the average us consumer mm. where we continue to lack is yes. gdp per capita which right. is again dri drives monetization i think that problem is something that will solve itself gradually over time there's very little one can do to increase or influence right. gdp per capita mm. uh, but as that as that gets solved i think you, you know we will start seeing meaningful companies right. with meaningful mm. revenue All right. So you invested at a very early stage in Ola Cabs. Now that's become a big success and a very big talking point as well when it comes to consolidation. How are you poised when it comes to investment in that particular company and how do you see your exit options as well? So I think it's early to talk about that. Ola is obviously still a company which is growing very rapidly. Uh we we we, we were fortunate to uh, uh find and partner with Bhavish very early. um uh, he's he's you know fantastically scaled uh, the opportunity in india um we invested when the company was doing less than 1000 rides a day to their today they do millions of rides a day um i think it's too early to think about what the potential opportunities are in front of it uh, they are still uh, getting into multiple you know businesses food delivery is a new business they've gone into with food panda international is scaling really well um i it's it's hard to say what uh, what sort of uh, the future holds but uh, if i go by what the aspiration of the entrepreneur is which is bhavish in this case uh, he's very very clear he wants to take an ipo okay ipo and how much time can we expect that then hard to say a few years out at least so are you ruling out any option of a consolidation with another player well i don't think one can rule it out but you know if i look at i guess uh, what has happened globally there's always you know two players in every market and i think that seems to be the right balance mm. uh whether or not there's consolidation in india whether or not these two companies will specifically merge or not or will you know one company acquire the other company it's too premature to say uh it's 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 it, i don't think there is any intent uh, for sure at this stage uh but how things change in the future uh, anyone's guess Do you think that your entire world uh, of investors has really got a lift up because of the Walmart Flipkart deal that exit options at good valuations is really possible? Absolutely. I think it's it was a seminal moment for Indian uh, venture. Uh the fact that India's, you know, flag bearer so so to speak of uh, Indian tech startups ended up getting, you know, such a, a fantastic exit by a, you know, quality global strategic uh, coming in at high prices at a large check size uh it it kind of you know is a is a is a uh you know goes to show the strength of you know some of these companies and what they are building 
uh, you know, sometimes we tend to get caught in the minutiae of how much money these companies are burning, and th you, those are important things. But you know, that's not the only thing one should look at, right? It is looking at about how fundamentally, you know, some of these companies are redefining the supply chain for right. retail commerce. Some, you know, fundamentally how they are organizing, uh, uh, you know, things at the back end which which have never been organized thus far. You know, fundamentally changing the payment infrastructure in the company in the country. Fundamentally changing, uh, 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 you know, the delivery infrastructure in this country. And I think that's what you know, global large strategic investors are valuing. To say that okay, this is something that yes, we can see what you know capability has been built in the company. Okay. Uh, it is. It has been a seminal moment. I think it it bodes really well for what the future holds mm -hmm. for India Venture. Um, hopefully, there'll be many more of these. And uh, finally, what is the investment strategy at this point for Matrix Partners, and which are the sectors you're particularly keen on? Well, we look at anything that is tech or tech-enabled. So uh, fintech, uh, until very recently, was the flavor of the day. Uh, it's obviously, not today. obviously, it is uh, with with some of the. Well, it, it was it was already getting too heated up. Mm. Uh, but you know, obviously, fintech is something that we've been looking at. We've been looking at a lot of stuff in B two B and logistics. Right. Uh, continue to see a lot of stuff in media and social in India now. Right. Uh, the local language opportunity is very real. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of content that is being created for the local language users, which is coming online for the first time now. Mm. I think the next 300 million internet users will consume content and will consume. Uh, uh, services on the internet very differently from what the first 100 million did, and so there's a lot of opportunities we are seeing in in that domain. Mm. Um, you know, we, we're seeing honestly opportunities across the spectrum. All right, and a lot of opportunities being taken by the U.S. companies as well as the Chinese companies. Is that a cause of worry because a lot of our startups are being owned by the foreigners? I think it's. I, I mean, we have to. I guess we have to change ownership from management. I continue to believe that while we will have Chinese investors and U.S. investors, and a lot of them are, are also recognizing the strength of the Indian market and the potential in the Indian market, and so a lot of them are coming in and taking fairly strong, aggressive positions in right. these companies. Yeah. Uh, the good news is that these continue to be run by Indian founders, by Indian management, and so I guess it's a separation. It, it, today, uh, uh, you know, capital will chase the best opportunities. A lot of you know investors are looking at the U.S. and China sometimes and saying, well, you know what, India seems to be much more of a you know uh, 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 easier uh, opportunity to make money. Uh, one can see that there are large empty spaces. Uh, one can see that there are large opportunities for value creation. Uh, these are not as obvious in China and the U.S. because a lot of the obvious opportunities have been taken, and so people are now playing in niches over there. Uh, those niches also can become very valuable over time, which you know we've seen. But in India, it's almost like a story that you've seen play out in China and the U.S. You know, five years ago and ten years ago, respectively. You're seeing that playing out in India, and so a lot of investors are seeing that same opportunity and saying, "Hey, you know what? I want to be part of this for the next 10, 20, 30 years," and hence are taking these positions. All right. Thanks so much, Tarun, for joining us Thank on CNBC TV18. But that is a break. But stay tuned to Big Deal.